Alright guys, so an update on my Harbor Freight 6 by Greenhouse. Today we're just going to focus on the Nepenthes, because I've been getting a few requests to do that. Um, I thought it would be a good idea as well, because there are quite a few new pictures popping open since the weather is getting warmer. And before I start that, I wanted to say I'm getting very close to 100 subscribers, like almost 5 subscribers away. So I wanted to do another special like I did for my 50th subscriber deal, but I already went extreme for that. So I don't know what I can do to top that, so that's what I needed you guys for. If you can leave me a comment on this video, just let me know what you want to see, and if I like the idea, I'll definitely do it. So leave a comment below. So to start with the update, here's my Lowy Eye by Moluensis. I got this one in like July or something, and it's considerably grown like a lot. Uh, and it's putting out a new picture here, which should be bigger than this one right here, because this one right here was a little dwarfed. Um, it's also gonna form a picture there. And it's growing pretty fast for a low EI hybrid, but, you know, my low EI bispectabilis, which I bought with this one, is growing faster, and I'll go over that one in a few seconds. This one is my Nepenthe Splendiana that I got from eBay. I think this picture is really cool, it has a cool shape, and it looks all swirly and awesome. Don't you think so? Now it's making another picture back there, and it's vining pretty well, and it also has, well, it has like a little growth right there and also one right there, but I don't think they're doing that well. This one's doing okay, but that one, the tip kind of died on it, because I think it dried out, but, uh, yeah. Now this guy is my Ventricosa by Truncata, or Truncata by Ventricosa. I forget whichever one. I have it written down somewhere, uh, but not on the pot, so I should get that done. Um, the picture's kind of dying, but you can see it's, I mean, it's okay. This is the one with plant herpes. Um, as you can see back over here. This is my Nepenthes Vogelii, which I got back in like February of 2012. So I've had it for about a year now. And it's grown a good bit. It never has more than two pictures at a time. This one's starting to die back on the lid, but it's forming another right here. So I'll, you know, this one's getting bigger than the last one. So, you know, stuff. This is my Nepenthes Singalana Belly Ring. And it has like a little appendage under the lid, which is kind of cool. I've never seen that on Singalana. And it's growing pretty well too. It's making another picture back there. Right there. Now my Jacqueline is starting to produce like, you know, more mature pictures. It was producing pictures like this when I first got it back in, I think it was also February of 2012. But, um, you know, it's it started making like dumb pictures like that when I guess it got too warm or something, but it was still picturing. And um, up here you can see the leaf, that leaf, the new one. It just went out of focus, but okay. Um, the new one is much fatter than the old ones, so maybe that's like a growth mark in, uh, or a mar milestone in its growth. Uh, this one is one I got from eBay that was sulking pretty bad, and I think it's just starting to get better. This one, this leaf is its last leaf, and it's doing better. Um, the basil is doing wonderfully, and it had a picture, but it died, so I cut it off just a few minutes ago. This is Nepenthes ventricosa virus to look UADs. Um, it also was sulking because I got this one at the same time as that one. And I'm not sure what happened with it, but it didn't do too well as you can see. And, you know, it looks like kind of jank now. This one, my Nepenthes ventricosa by Talangensis, is looking like really good. Just in comparison to my hand, it's like a big picture right there. It's like maybe like four inches, I don't know. Um, it's also making some basils. And these actually look really nice. Um, it has another one over here, which is a bit different but it's just now opening up, so um, I think the peristome's gonna fold back over, so it won't be as, like, you know, awesome. The Mind of Penthes Hamada by Platyhyla is actually kicking into gear now, and it's, you know, making good stuff. It's making a picture there, and it's also making one back here, which I'm pretty proud of, because at first this guy was doing terribly. And I have another Hamada by Platyhyla on the other side of the greenhouse. This guy right here is Nepenthes Ventricosa, I think. Um, it's most likely Ventricosa because I got it as a freebie with an eBay buy. Um, it had a really small growing species of sphagnum in it. The tips are kind of black because I poured coffee on it recently. Uh, check out my last video. I did a tutorial on how to do coffee for your Nepenthes. This guy is like Nepenthes, like, I don't know, Gothica was it? It's like some hybrid, but it doesn't look too hot, you know, it's black. Now, this guy is really cool. It's my Nepenthes unidentified, but now that it's making lower pictures, I can kind of guess what it is. I'm pretty sure it has a lot of in it, and from what people have told me, they're also pretty sure that it has um, Maxima in it. So, if you just look at the basal pictures, 
and now you look up here the upper pictures this one looks like like uh, I don't know like Copeland guy or something um, or, or Stenophila I don't know but um, then the lower pictures look completely different so it's kind of weird and that's the whole plant it's kind of out of focus but there you go now right here we have the Nepenthes Spathulata by Spathulata by Botticiana. This is the newest picture. Uh, this is the last picture, and this is the picture before that, which is much bigger. And this one looks extremely like weird, like in a weird way. Um, you can kind of guess it kind of looks like phallic, but you know, that was pointed out to me last year when it had pictures. Um, it went pictureless for a long time, but now it's cool and it has like spotting under the lid. And this is basically the entire plant. Um, goes all the way up to the top of the greenhouse. Well, the top of the slanted roof, because, you know, it goes up a bit farther. And that brings me to my Nepenthes Ventrata. It makes either pure green pictures like this, which I really like, and that one's covered in sap. Here, let me just show you. I can touch it, and I'll pull, like, tons of sap globs off. I was meaning to, like, try licking that, but, you know, I don't think I want to. Um, but it also makes red pictures like this one right here. Which is kind of cool it's also covered in sap and now there's sap all over my fingers um these guys are the basils uh that i pulled off of the plant a few repottings ago they're starting to kick into gear they have um i say kick into gear a lot i shouldn't say that they have roots so they're doing well and stuff so yeah now we are on the other side of the greenhouse this is my nepenthes momoka which i got from a plant sale um like last year I got it with the Spathulata by Spathulata by Botticiana, the tall one on the other side. And this is its picture. It's uh, Insignis by Merliana, so it's an ultra lowland crossed with a lowland. And right here we have the Bongzo Robusta. This is its newest picture. Um, this is the oldest picture on it. And over here, we have a new picture forming. This one has to be one of my favorites. This is the Spathulata by Obata. And it's quite colorful, but green and purple on the back apparently, but you know, I like green and I think the green lid is nice. Now this is my Nepenthes Alata spotted, so it is pure Alata, but it's just a different color variant I guess. And this is its newest picture, it, this is its first picture of the season, so obviously it's going to be much smaller and not look as pretty. There is the whole plant of the spotted Alata, this is the whole plant of the Spathulata by uh, Ovada, this is the whole plant of the Bongzo Robusta. This is the whole plant of the Nepenthes Momoka. Forgot to do a whole plant shot of those. Or maybe I did and I forgot, I don't know. This is also a really cool one because it's like pure purple. And it has these cute little purple pictures on it. Which are really tiny, but they're awesome and stuff, so yeah. This is my Nepenthes Peter Diamato by Maxima's newest picture. Um, this is the whole plant right there. And it has another picture over there. Um, this one right here is the Hamada by Platykyla, the other one. This guy right here is the Loei by Spectabilis with lots of sphagnum growing in the pot, and it's making a new picture right here. This guy's the Berbigea by Edward Siana, and over here is another Berbigea by Edward Siana, which this one I got from eBay as the Pentheus Berbigea, but uh, it didn't quite turn out as Berbigea. So instead they sent a replacement plant, but it froze in the mail because I left it in the mailbox overnight because I wasn't expecting it because they didn't send it for a few weeks, so I just gave up, and then it was there, so. Um, I cut the top off, and it's making two little basils, or whatever. It's branching on the bottom, not basils, but yeah. And then over here, we have my Nepenthes Ventricosa. I don't know what color variant this is, but I need a green one, because I like green Ventricosas. I forgot one of the guys on the side. This is the Botsgiana by Mira, and the actual plant is over there, and it has another picture right here. Let me just slide my phone through there and get a good look at that picture. It's just a pinky color, which is nice, and it has lots of nice sphagnum growing in the pot. And the leaves are pretty reddish. Um, I like a reddish brown, actually. It's kind of cool. It's like purpley. So right here in the terrarium, we have two Nepenthes Ampularias, which I did a video of myself unboxing them uh, back maybe like September or something. Uh, so I have like a red one. I don't know what it is exactly. Oh, it, here's the tag. It is a Brunei Red by Harlequin, and this is a Brunei Green, I think. Let's see. Yeah, Brunei Green. And this one's a bit smaller, but it should be... It, it's getting bigger. So that concludes the update. Um, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to rate it. And if you haven't already commented, respond to what I said at the beginning of the video. And if you want more updates, subscribe. I will see you guys next time, hopefully for my 100th subscriber special.